Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am on Craft Creations page today. So I just want to say a big thank you to Craft Creations, and we are going to be, actually they're going to be sending one of you one of these awesome teepees that you can paint yourself. So um, for those of you sharing, I just want to say um, thank you, and then make sure you comment that you've shared so that we'll know um, which one of you to pick. So we'll pick one of you to send that to you. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you a little bit of um, just kind of this teepee here. I wanted to show you a little bit of how to paint that. And if y'all don't know me, my name is Heidi Easley, and I'm the owner of Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties. So I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial for you today and just show you just some easy tricks to making your wood blanks look really cool. So, and I also brought some little extras that... I teach in my um, online stuff, so if you want to know more about me and how to get um, the tutorial for this and all of that, just go ahead and click the link in the description because that link is going to bring you to this ebook, so you can have a copy of this for free um, and it'll give you some more information. So I'm just going to kind of point the camera down and feel free to ask questions. I'm just going to be painting with y'all and hopefully y'all can enjoy this little tutorial. Okay, so this is one of the, it's a TP that um, Craft Creations makes. I love, love, love Craft Creations. Um, they are so awesome. Like, I have, so, I have a ton of paint parties that I do, and so a lot of times I'll, you know, need a bunch, you know, coming up or whatever, and I'll just email them or put the order in, and they always send them really fast. So the coolest thing about this is, in the past, how many of y'all out there teach paint parties and you cut your own wood? Is there anybody that does that? I'm just bringing this up and bringing it down. I actually used to do that all the time. <laughs> That's how I did all my parties. Me and my husband cut all of my wood and it was just so time consuming. Um, I want to make sure that y'all can see this. Can everybody see that? Just go ahead and do a do a heart or a like if you can see. I just wanna make sure you can see the actual tutorial. Um, but yeah, we used to cut all of our own wood. We used to do all of our own palettes. Um, and it was, you know, it was fine and it was great, but man, it was very, very time consuming. So when I started booking more parties, I just started thinking like, how can I do this a little bit smarter? Um, so um, Craft Creations has kinda been awesome because I've been able to just you know, do more booking, do more of the stuff that makes my business more money where I can let them do the stuff that they're really good at. So, um, so for example, their stuff is pretty thick, you can see here. And they're going to be giving one of you a TP, so um, you'll get some happy mail in the mail. So if you want to go ahead and share this and then just hit shared, um, then one of you, we're going to pick one of y'all at the end of this to give happy mail to you. So you'll get a TP that you can paint yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you the colors I'm using. This is kind of like a boho, you know, kind of a boho theme. This is bluegrass green. And I'm going to also be using a lighter color. This is one of my favorites, sea breeze. Okay, so sea breeze and bluegrass green. And you can tell this is my favorite because it's already almost out. Yeah, I need to get some more. <laughs> I have some more behind me. And then all you have to do is just kind of take the brush, I don't even wash the brush, just a little bit back and forth like this. And then you're just going to start, see where the little um, indention is here? Almost like a smiley face. So you're just kind of taking it from one side and bringing it over like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of take your brush and bring it over. When you do your paint back and forth like this, it really just takes a little push and you get that nice line. Now I can take this paint, even though it's a little bit mixed, it has a good color, and just bring it on across. This is a fun tutorial too. I teach this at ladies nights, but I also teach this for kids. So those of you that, um, you know, or interested in teaching kids parties, 
the llama at, um, it's so funny, the other day I was seeing llamas in a little gift shop and I'm like, why do llamas make me so happy? And it hit me, it's because llamas have paid so many of my bills. <laughs> I've taught so many llama paint parties in the past couple years that when I see a llama, I don't know, I guess it, I, I think of my car payment or <laughs> I think of something that's been paid from a llama painting. So yeah, so they have really cute llamas that I love as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead on the top of this and you could do this in any colors that you want. I'm just gonna bring this up so that this is covered and it can start to dry because I'm gonna add some flowers there in a minute, okay? How's everybody doing today? Is everybody have, do y'all have y'all's kids going back to school? Pixie started yesterday, well, Monday. I can't believe it's already Wednesday. She started on Wednesday, or Monday and um, her first day of eighth grade. So it was kind of crazy to think I have an eighth grader now. I can't believe that. Okay, so I have that little line there. And then this is just a simple trick. So a lot of people, especially when they go to do flowers, they get really overwhelmed with the idea of, oh my gosh, I'm painting a flower, right? And so we get this idea that it has to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. So I'm gonna show you, this is one of my favorite pinks. I actually get this at Walmart. It's called Diva Pink. I'm gonna use this and then a little bit darker, a little bit darker color with some white. And I'm gonna show you just an easy, um, just an easy way to get a flower so that it's not so intimidating. Um, Teresa says, no school here yet on the East Coast. Yeah, you know, here in Texas, they started really, really early. Um, we were very surprised when they said August 12th. I was like, really? That's craziness. Um, so I'm using Diva Pink, and then I'm also using Aquamarine. Well, it's not Aquamarine. I don't even know how to say it. It's a violet. I'm going to put it up to the screen <laughs> so y'all can see it, but it's Deco Art Traditions, but it's just a really, really great color. Um, and I'll show you just right here beside it. It's just a really good color. So I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna show you with some white, just an easy little trick to not only make it easy for your paint party guests, because remember, for paint parties, a lot of people are brand new to this. So I know this is Craft Creations page, so a lot of y'all that may be ordering um, these blanks, you may be doing them for yourself, but then after you paint one, you might be like, oh crap, like I'm kind of good at this, you know? And then once you paint one, you might have your, it's kind of like if you give, you know, the mouse a cookie, he wants some milk and then he wants that and he wants that. Well, once you paint one, then you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm really good at this, you know? And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you're teaching a couple of your friends. And then the next thing you know, you've been asked by, you know, a youth group to come teach an event or whatever. And then it just kind of goes from there. Um, so what I do is I just kind of mix those two pinks together. And then I'm just going to basically do a blob. Okay. So this is a really, really simple, simple technique for a flower. So I'm just going to with those two colors, just start blobbing it in. Just kind of little circular motions, nothing major, going back to the dark, a little bit to the light, little circular, and again, this is just a very, very simple, very simple way. Um, and then all you're gonna do is just dip a little bit into the white and just kind of start to mix it. So you're giving the illusion of a flower without it being really overwhelming for your guest. Because when you're teaching a paint party, nobody wants to come in for a paint party. They're not going to get like a major, this was really hard for a lot of, um, a lot of people that I mentor. It was really hard for them to get their, their brains wrapped around it. Guys, we are, we are not in the business of teaching fine art lessons, okay? We are in the business of teaching a craft, something fun that they can do that they, you know, you can be proud of and excited to get out for your decorations. 
Um, something that you can have fun with. This is one of the surfboards I ordered from Craft Creations um, and put Pixie's name on it. You know, something fun you can do, but we're not teaching a hardcore lesson. You are creating a paint party. So for those of you that are, you know, new to this and you're like, but I'm not an artist. Good, you don't have to be an artist to do paint parties. That's the coolest thing about it. Um, and I think so many times people get mixed up with that and they think, well, I'm not an artist, you know, my, who's going to think this? Well, no, you have to start thinking of it more of like a Pinterest party, like a craft party. And when you start to think of it like that, it's really cool because then the whole world opens up. And um, I had a lady, let me get a drink of my coffee. I'm still trying to wake up. Sorry. I got to sleep in today. Yay. <laughs> Pixie had share practice early, so Bobby got to take her and I got to sleep in. I was so excited. Um. Yeah, when you're when you're um, older, those sleep in days are fewer and further between. Um, so yeah, so the coolest thing is um, just kind of making something that is doable for your guests. So I want to show you this wonderlust here that I have. You can do any word. This I used a vinyl stencil for and to put the wonderlust on. Um, but I'm going to show you just real quick a couple of the techniques here, here, and then the flowers up here. So you can see it's nothing major, but when it's all put together, it's something really cute. So if you have, let's say, um, sorry guys, I keep going back and forth, but if you have a, um, a baby shower you're going to and they have this theme, a lot of people have this kind of theme, you could actually put the, the baby's name on there or put their last name on there and you could turn it into like a couple of little hangers to where they could hang you know, different things. Maybe they hang like, a, you know, a little bathrobe or they hang, you know, little jewelry from here. This would be an adorable, adorable jewelry holder. And um, so you could put little nails there and then bring the jewelry down and um, the necklaces down from there. So there's so many options for that. And just so y'all know, um, those of y'all that are sharing, um, Craft Creations is going to send one of y'all one of these teepees. So I'm really excited for one of you. So just make sure you put shared at the bottom so we'll know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add, and I love using 24 karat gold. So this is one of my favorites, 24 karat gold, and this is just, I hope I can get it open. Sometimes it likes to shut, oh yay, bingo, got it open. Sometimes I have to like slam it on the ground, then it gets crazy, it gets a little loud. And um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gold, and you can see how pretty it is. If I can pop that bubble. Um, oh, thank you for sharing. Yeah, we're going to pick somebody for some happy mail. And Craft Creations is going to send you out a fun a fun little happy mail. So, um, so what I'm going to do is just take this gold. It's a 24 karat gold. And I'm going to take this and just add some details. So on this one, you can see I just kind of roughed up some areas to add this gold here. Again, nothing major. You could make your own design. You could um, kind of make your own color scheme, whatever you're wanting. And I did go ahead before we started this, I did real quick, um, while I was going to grab my coffee, I put a layer of white so that it's ready. So what I recommend is if you're doing this as a paint party, have the layer of white already on there, okay? So make sure you put that on there first. So I'm just adding this gold to make some little areas. All right, and then I'm gonna put some dots in there and some little lines. So you can get as creative as you want. Hello, Deborah. hey, Sylvia. Sylvia, I love how you added that Photoshop to the Santa. Oh my gosh, I, um, I asked my husband, because I have a, um, I just got a new iPad so I could work on some painting designs, and I got this really cool app I can't remember the name of it, but the app lets me change things. And so I, I just I just got a message um, in there and I sent him those pictures that you changed on my page. And I said, um, Bobby, can I do this with my new app? And he's like, yes, you can do that. So I thought, how cool is that for Paint Party Headquarters to be able to, um, I could do one design, but then show y'all, you know, several that you could advertise with different backgrounds. So thank you for sharing that awesome um, little tip. I was so excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, this just opens up a world of possibilities. Sylvia, by the way, is so talented. She is 
um, the one who has designed my my um, new logo. She's also designed for Paint Party Business Live. We have a huge event in Texas at the Stockyards. Craft Creations is coming, which I'm really excited about. So if you come, you'll get to meet them in person. And um, and Craft Creations is going to be there, and we're going to be. Um, painting and learning everything there is about paint party business and I am so so excited and um, this is an aquamarine I'm going to use for some details and um, yeah and so it's going to be a, it's just going to be an awesome week well it's, it's a two-day event so we're having uh, kind of have a surprise for half a day on the, the thing what is the name of that app dang it Victoria I will find out um it's going to come to me. You know, like whenever you know something is there and it's just... Okay, so all I'm doing, guys, is I'm just putting little bitty details. So just kind of adding what happens with painting is sometimes people get confused. But if you just look at step by step, it really is easy. So last week, I had the privilege of working with Terry Hutto on this massive mural at our school. And um, she had this huge vision. If you haven't seen it yet, you have got to go to Texas Art and Soul. And um, it, it took her six days, and I jumped in and helped four of those days. And it was crazy. She had this vision of like seven days, you know, from God creating Earth and creating everything. And so she like tells this story. And what was crazy was I remember we were mixing colors, and I was like, well, what about this? And she goes, well, we need to make sure... Um, it's all cohesive and she because I you know she's a fine artist and I'm always willing to learn from other people and always be that person that um, always be that person that like isn't like oh I know everything now like oh I've got it all solved you know like I am a constant learner is anybody out there where like my husband makes fun of me and my daughter they're like you are so annoying with your podcast because like I literally am walking around the house like listening to to something or something with business or something with learning or something, you know, just all the time. And so, um, so it was crazy because she goes, yeah, but it's our job to make them not know why they like it so much. Like, so when you look at this, like wonderless, like it's all cohesive, all the colors fit nicely. And the reason that the mural works so well is because even if we were on another section, we would take like different colors of that section that you wouldn't even think would go together. And she would say, well, this is part of the color palette. We need to mix some of this into this. And so I was like, just like, oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Like our job as an artist, which right now we're talking about being a crafter, but our job as an, an artist artist is to make it where they feel like, um, why do I like it? You know, I like it, but I'm not really sure why. You know, it's easy on the eyes. It makes your eyes just really love to see it. And so um, when we did that mural, when we were finished, I was just like, oh my gosh, I was so glad I was a part of this. Um, and Sylvia says, yes, that is an amazing mural. Lots of work turned out great. Yeah, I think there were some late nights. I stayed until 2 a.m. One, one day. It was really late. And um, Kelly says, I love watching you paint. Yes, love learning. Always learning. Yeah, if you are not learning, you are dying. I know that sounds awful, but it's so true. You have got, got to be constantly learning and constantly being willing to, um, you know, know what's out there. And that's why I always tell people, especially the ladies in Paint Party headquarters, you know, you can be the best painter in the world, but if you don't know how to market yourself, if you don't know how to put those paintings out there and get events scheduled, I always say, like, you got to get butts in the seat. It doesn't matter if, the seat, if you don't have prepaid painters. Um, then you're, it doesn't matter. And that's what it's, it's like, I know it sounds unfair and I know it sounds frustrating and I know it sounds like that, that shouldn't be right. You know, the people that are the best painters should be the ones. Guys, life doesn't work that way. Um, I've never sat here and claimed to be the best painter. I truly feel like God has given me art as a way to share his love. I know that for a fact, but I've never sat there and said like, I'm the number one painter, right? But because I love eat, sleep, devour, like how to get butts in the seat at my paint parties, that's what I focus on. 
And so a lot of times people think that you have to, oh, and sorry, I used yellow green, Americana. <laughs> Y'all gotta keep me on track with giving you the colors. And then um, green blue, deco art traditions. Um, you can use any dark green or light green. I'm going to use a liner brush and I'm just going to grab the green and just pull and twist. I had a point. What was I talking about? Anybody else do that? <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of get some, some little branches here. Okay, so it looks really weird right now. I'm going to just get some branches. And if any of y'all are new to me, um, my name is Heidi Easley, owner and founder of Texas Art and Soul. And I basically teach women how to make money teaching paint parties, along with a lot of other fun things. And, um, and if you're interested and you want to kind of check it out, I put my ebook, which is on, on sale for 17 on my website, but you can get it free today through the link in the description. So it's really for people who are interested in maybe taking this and making some money um, through doing paint parties over the next um, several months, especially this fall time. This is like go season. Um, it's crazy because you, you can have as many parties as you want if you want to go out there and book them. Um, and that's what I teach people how to do, is how to book them and then the marketing that goes along with it. Because surprisingly, booking the party is the easiest part. Um, booking the party is the easiest part and then the filling the seats can be the tricky part, but I have several several tricks up my sleeves for that and that's what I, I teach people in my paint party headquarters group. So craft creations, the, the reason that I'm on this page and the reason I love them so much is because they have saved me and my family so much time. And I don't know if y'all are like me, but I hate wasting time. Like, I'm just that person. I don't, I'm not that person that can just sit there and do nothing. Um, you know, my husband tells me I need to be that person more, but I'm just not that person. I've, you know, put me somewhere with a, a blank journal and, you know, let me draw or create or think of, you know, something awesome. I always laugh, me and my daughter were like that Alice in Wonderland quote where it says, you know, she believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. And <laughs> is anybody like that? And it's like, I would rather be in like dreamland all the time than just sitting and doing nothing. I just, I don't know. Is anybody else like that? But, um, but yeah, so I just, you know, I don't like wasting time. And so what was so cool about Craft Creations is that, you know, I can have, I can go ahead and order these wood blanks, you know, whatever shape I want, and then I can put these awesome paintings on it. And so now my paint parties, I can book them, get the butts in the seat, and then just order the amount I need. And then I'm not asking my husband when he gets off of work to do all these because we have a little shop that um where we do a lot of wood cutouts and sometimes you know if we have a event that you know fills up and gets extra people i don't want to turn people away so um because again it's you know forty dollars a person forty five dollars a person whatever and so i don't want to turn people away so maybe if i don't have enough he'll run out there and do a few but i would almost always rather order order and not have to worry about that so they've been a huge help to my family Okay, so I just added some dark green. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the light green, and this was the Deco Art yellow green, and then I just add that on top, okay? All right, let's see. Dawn says, I knit if I have to sit and wait. I call it my productive fidget spinner. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, I'm getting ready to take a big trip to Canada and um, for a business trip and I'm already like I got two new um, I don't do my notes in a um in just a regular like paper you know like a notebook notebook pad I do them in watercolor paper so I like to get the watercolor paper notebooks that are kind of smaller from Michael's and then that's where I write like all of my business plans all of my new painting ideas and um, I draw little thumbnails in there so I have like 
you know, over on that table, I just have, I have two right now ready to go for um, the trip because I just, I don't know, it's something about like putting it in the watercolor paper. It just makes it feel more fun. I don't know. I just, I mean, the other day we were school shopping for Pixie and, um, and I was like, should I buy one of these five star notebooks? You know, and I'm like, no, I don't like to write on lined paper. Um, even my notes here, I'll just take the back of note cards and I just randomly write stuff on the back of note cards. I just, I don't know what the deal is. I just don't like that. Okay, so see how I just added that little hint of greens and what happened then? It just kind of makes it all pop. So it's just a matter of taking it. This is even wet. So it's wet on wet paint. I'm gonna try to hold this up so you can see it close. And those of y'all that are sharing, thank you. Craft Creations is gonna be mailing one of you, one of the blank templates so you can make your own. One of the, not templates, the actual wood piece. They're gonna ship one happy mail to one of y'all. So thank you so much. We really appreciate y'all watching and, and being here for this. Okay, so I'm just adding little bits here. Um, several years back, I was talking to a lady. She was in her 90s. She had found me online and she had um, contacted me and she was, like I said, she was older. She's in her 90s. She had been a fine artist her whole life. And she was so upset because she's, she sat there and she was like, you know, I see people out there all the time. And I don't think she meant to offend me. But she's like, you know, I see people out there all the time that are not the, and she didn't offend me. I don't, I don't get offended easy. Um, and she said, um, you know, they're out there doing, you know, this artwork and they're able to get their stuff sold and they're able to get work. And she goes, I've had my stuff in museums. I've had my stuff here. And she started naming off all the places like she's had her, her work. And, um, and I told her, I said, you know, I know it doesn't seem fair, but having the best artwork doesn't mean you're going to be the most successful artist. And I know that is like a bad statement for some of y'all to hear but it's about marketing. And that's what I told her. I said, if you don't know how to tell people what you're doing, whether it's a paint party or you do murals or whatever it is, there, nobody's gonna know about it. And so I just was, you know, I just talked to her and I listened. I'm gonna add these flowers. So I'm gonna point it down so y'all can see. Um, and so I talked to her and I listened and I just was like, you know, I, I know it seems unfair, but really it's about marketing and it's about, you know, putting yourself out there and letting people know what you're doing. Um, and so many times, I'm just taking kind of blobbing like this. I'm um, just kind of blobbing on here. So taking this and then just adding it. Mixing the diva pink with the, the reddish, the violet. And again, just kind of a circular motion. And you can also even do like just dabs, you know, like that. If you're trying to get a flower look. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of my white. So I think the point I'm trying to make is when you start to think of it as like a big game, it's like, and I know you're like, well, this is life. It's not supposed to be a game. <laughs> well, why not? You know, start thinking of it as a big game and start thinking of like, you know, why do I care if I, you know, I had somebody the other day message me and say, you know, I just, I don't want to do this. I've had businesses fail in the past. I'm just taking little, um, the same technique with that green and just adding some more little vines. So I'm going to do three and then I'm just going to do that same technique with the small, the darker and then the lighter. Um, but she messaged me and it just made my heart hurt because she said, you know, I've had businesses fail in the past and I just don't want people to see me fail again. And I thought, oh my gosh, what a, what a way to live life, depending on what everybody else thinks. Like, who cares? You know, there, you know, Big Magic, it's a book I always recommend. It talks about how, you know, people are looking for a very short time. In the grand scheme of things, you know, yes, if you fail miserably, they might notice for a few minutes, but people are freaking busy. Like, you're not the star of their life. And I think sometimes we go around life, and I used to be guilty of this. I mean, like, I used to have, like, anxiety when I go to the grocery store, because I'm like, 
who's looking at me, you know, who's, you know, somebody going to talk to me, like, I would have this weird anxiety thing, and then I read that book, and I thought, oh my gosh, why do I feel like I'm the star of everybody's life, no, we don't, we don't have that kind of power, and even if people notice us fail, they're going to notice for a minute at most, and then they're busy, they're doing their life, they're doing their own things, and so when I got that email from that lady, I thought, oh my gosh, like, what, what a sad way to live life. Like, why put your attention on so many other people? And when you can free yourself from that and just think, like, let me see what I can do. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Um, it just takes away that pressure. And so what I've done is I've taken it a step further. And I thought, you know what? Let me see how many times I can actually fail. Because the faster I fail, the faster I can get to success. So let me change the narrative and just turn it the other way. Let's keep failing. Fail, fail, fail again. And the more you fail, the faster you can recover from it, the faster you can move on. And there was a quote that said something like, um, so if you're not failing, um, what did it say? The, oh my gosh, I put it in my paint party headquarters group the other day. It was something about the only um, successful people are the ones that have endured so many failures so you know everybody thinks like oh my gosh they're so successful you know they never went through the failure part no there's probably like sheets of things that they've done in the past that has failed and failed and failed again and um, i always tell people you know with paint parties we think that i'm going to add these little details and um, we think with paint parties that you know once we get this all of a sudden we're supposed to to be a rock star and have only successful paint parties forever no, I'm sitting here telling you, you know, I've been teaching paint parties for years, many years, and I've had parties of, you know, 129. I'm trying to reach that 200 this year. Um, I've had parties of, you know, 75, 100, you know, time and time again, but I've also had parties that I've had to cancel, you know, as, as soon as this summer. So just because you have successful parties doesn't mean all of a sudden there's this magic button that shows that you're never going to fail again. No, that is part of the process. And when you get it out of your head that failure is such a bad thing and you start looking at it as a game and you, I know it's, I know you aren't thinking I'm a freak right now, but when you start looking at it, I just added those little gold details. And um, when you start looking at everything as a game, it just makes things fun. It makes things so much more fun and it takes the pressure off. It takes all the pressure of I got to be perfect. You know, we're not perfect people. And um, we're not. So if you've not read Big Magic yet, I highly, highly recommend you read that book. And um, I'm just adding some white dots in here. And then again, um, Craft Creations is go going to be giving one of you this for free. Well, not the painted one, but a, a version of this that you can actually paint yourself. And then what I recommend is, you know, either like the Wonderlust, like I have behind here, or you could put a baby's name if it's for a baby shower, or you could put a last name. You could put little hooks and turn it into a jewelry holder. Um, and it has the back so you could just hang it straight on your wall. Like how cute would that be by a little girl's vanity um, with all her necklaces hung on it, or maybe even her bows. Um, but yeah, anything like this would be so cute. So then you could freehand a name um, or you could put, you know, something on here. So anything like that. So this is kind of the finished product. And then I wanted to show y'all a couple of other things I've gotten from Craft Creations. And again, those of you that um, are new to me, if you haven't gotten my ebook yet, the link is in the description. But this right here is a really cool Christmas one. They have these arches. Now, when I ordered this, I had no idea it was so massive. Um, but look, you can see next to my, this, this is my hips all the way up to my head. And the coolest part about this is the arches come off. So I could do this painting like this and then attach, and we hung this up last Christmas um, as part of our decorations. So this was in our living room for part of our Christmas decorations. So this is a really fun idea. I ended up not doing this for paint parties because of the space, because like a lot of my Christmas events, I'll have 20 to 50 people. And because this was a little massive, it was hard to um, hold it during the space. But this would be a really fun one to do at your house or if you have a smaller paint party. 
And then also, she has the bigger um, surfboards. So they come, again, totally blank, but this is another one that'd be fun for like an outside patio. So yeah, there's so many. So y'all have to go after this um, live, you'll have to go to Craft Creations and do the shop. Um, and they also have wholesale stuff. So um, again, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for watching. Um, those of y'all that shared, we'll look in the comments um, in a couple days and we'll pick one of y'all that shared this live um, to have this shipped to you. So Craft Creations will be reaching out to one of you to ship you the teepee. And those of y'all that want to, um, yeah, I have to get the surfboard. The surfboards are so fun. Um, I have a whole surfboard story if you want to read on my blog. That's kind of how I got started in, as an entrepreneur. Um, so you'll have to read that. I won't go into detail because that's a long story. <laughs> but here's, here's kind of the finished TP, and then you can just write a name or whatever you want on it. And then those of y'all that have not got my book yet, it's in the description. I'd love to help you out on teaching your first paint party. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let us know what you think. All right, bye guys.